I'm Rob. And I'm Louie. And this is the Virtual Battlegrounds VR Review by Barefoot Gaming. Alright, so we can't really do this review without talking about the rich and deep backstory of this game. Oh, the, the storyline is amazing. I mean, hours and hours of rich story-based gameplay. There's no storyline. <laughs> You know, the only way we need to describe this is this is PUBG in VR. And if yes. you don't know what PUBG, let me give me a quick breakdown. It is player unknown battlegrounds and you fly in, you've got no weapons, you've got the shirt on your back and the shoes on your feet and you hit the ground and you start looking for supplies and it's last man standing. Yeah, and what happens is there's kind of a big orb that gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. So you can't just camp. You can't just land in a spot and say, this is where I'm going to hold up. No, you have to keep running. Yeah. Because, and, and it's different every time. It's not the center of the map. Yes. But you need to get to wherever, like if you're outside of the force field or whatever that bubble is. Yeah, you will be hurting. And you've got a little watch on your wrist that's got a, a, a little ring around it. And it'll it'll go down to like three quarter to half when that bar is gone, you are dead. Now, the way you can prevent that is obviously staying inside of the bubble, but you can also eat food. Yes, apples is the only food that I've found in the game. They're usually lying around in the building somewhere, just like all the other weapons and gear in the game. Now, before I talk any more about the gameplay itself, this works in single player because there is a private server mode. So yes. there are bots available. Yes. But good luck finding players that want to play with bots. Yes, because the bots don't give you any XP. And they're much more difficult than regular players are. Yeah. So you can play in teams or you can play like everybody against everybody. And every single map we went into, every single time we joined with other people, yeah. they were not interested in any of yeah. that. And, and it goes by a, a voting based system. And, and so Rob and I, we would vote for bots and everyone else would vote against. And we were always outvoted. But the good thing is there were always people to play with. Yes. And while you're waiting for the maps to load, the map, sorry, singular, there's a single yes. map. While you're waiting for that really large map to load, you can do a couple different things. Uh, you can play basketball, which I'm terrible at. There's also an area where you can just like Go on one side, go on the other, and then just run at each yeah, other. Kind of a red versus blue thing. Absolutely. And that, that's not part of the game. That's while you're waiting for the game to load and for more players to come in and play. Which is really smart. Okay, so now you have kind of the gist. Uh, smooth motion only. This this game doesn't wouldn't really work properly with teleport. And the only time that it's not smooth movement is when you hit the water, where you actually have to swim with your arms. I, I give them props for that though, because yeah. that's something that a lot of people would never even notice, because yes. water's on the outside. Yeah. You only have like a couple little areas where there's... Yeah, yeah. there's kind of a rivery kind of creek, yeah. gorge maybe. So running props through. for that, props yeah. for that. $20 US is the price for this game. Uh, Louis, give me pros, give me cons. Do you recommend it? Yes, no, go. Uh, my pros are all the things you can do that are outside the game. Uh, before you even get into the loading area, you can step off to the left and there is a shooting range where you can, you know, try out all the different attachments with the rifles. Um, I do like the extras for, I, that's one of the things I hate in PUBG, which I do play a lot of, is the, the waiting and there's not that much to do in them. Um, but the, this was fun. And uh, the game, even though I was just as terrible as, as I was with the basketball, um, I had a bunch of fun playing it, and, and that's just what these games are supposed to be. They're just fun, and I really enjoyed this one. So, you do recommend it? I do recommend it. And I didn't hear any cons. I'm going to list the pros as being, it, it is fun. There's no question, the, I think. The, the cons are, I always died. <laughs> so, for me, I'm going to say the game itself was really fun. From top to bottom, it was great. I like the fact that uh, you actually had to, like, cock the guns. You couldn't yes. just pick them up. Uh, you can carry two guns on you at a time. The graphics are eh. They are very mediocre. I like the fact that you can climb. I think that's really neat. You can grab onto any wall oh, and yes. you can climb that up. That was very cool. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. You don't have any falling damage, which is important. So there's these towers that have wires for moving around back and forth. You hook your little pulley system on it. You can go flying from one to the other. If at any point someone's shooting at you, you can let go. And someone's told me that you could also move up on them, even though I didn't actually try that. Absolutely. You, you, they go you both can directions. reverse gravity and, and go the wrong way. Yeah. So I, I think lots of this game is done very well. Uh, I found the performance to not be great. Even if I wasn't actually recording gameplay, I was almost dropping frames. 
So I, I think this is something the developers are still actively working on from everything yeah. I have read. So I expect performance to do better. There are lots of guns. So yes, this game is very fun and I do recommend it. Um, I'd recommend getting in earlier than later. You never know how long a game is going to be hot and that yep. will determine how many people you're playing with. Yes. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. We love hearing from you and yes. we'll talk to you again real and, soon. And if you ever see us playing, choose bots. <laughs> we, we need to try it. See ya. <laughs> Bye.